A new hawk totem pole returned to Bella Coola after it was taken to Victoria more than 100 years ago. The CBC's Susanna De Silva joins us now. She's in Bella Coola. Susanna, what's happening now? Well, you can't see it, but just down the hall from where I am here in the lobby of the high school where the totem pole was brought and will remain for the next year, there is a big community feast happening. Too bad you can't smell it. It smells delicious in here, but there is a big feast to end the day of what has been a lot of celebration, a lot of sadness as well, reflection upon what this community has lost. But for many, they are looking at what happened today as really a new beginning. After years of fighting, weeks of planning, the moment finally came today for the totem pole to be unveiled here. The majority of the members of the New Hawk Nation have never seen it before, and it was inside of the gym. It was covered in a colorful cloth. Elders and hereditary chiefs surrounded it, and they then revealed the pole to the community, and there really was a silence that engulfed the crowd that was there, a reverence really for this pole, a member of their community they consider that has returned. There were prayers said over it, and the community itself was then in invited to get a closer look of this pole that dates to before the time that BC was declared a colony. Now there are speeches continuing, dancing throughout the afternoon. There will be a feast here tonight to celebrate this. And for many here, they see this as a sign of strength of the community, that the community is fighting back. It is regaining all of the things they have lost over the decades through things like residential schools, even the young people here say this is an important event happening in this community. That poll will remain here at the school for the next year. A chance again for the young people, for the kids to get a look at it, appreciate that history, but then it will head back to the original village site of the Newhawk people, where they say it will be allowed to return to the ground as is the community tradition. But many say this event and what has happened through this will live on forever because of that totem pole. And so they are hoping they're looking now at some sort of a display case that they could put up here in the school again. So as the kids come in, they can develop that appreciation before it does head back to that village. And, you know, there has been discussion about whether or not that is what it is, what should be done. But it is a family totem pole. It had been originally at the front of the longhouse. It then was a grave marker. And they say they feel, the family feels that that is the place that it should go back to, to carry out, as I said, that tradition of returning a totem pole to the ground. Michelle? The CBC's Susanna De Silva reporting live from Bella Coola tonight. Thanks, Susie.